Also, as you would expect, security all across the nation being stepped up in the wake of these bombings. News 8's Nick Nuosu is live in Boston tonight with more on what, uh, what she's seeing this evening. Nika? Well, Keith, and we are just getting into the city right now. We've noticed that some of the exits going into the city, particularly going into the Back Bay area, are shut down. I'm actually seeing a number of people walking in Boston as many of the roads are shut down, so it's actually faster to walk to get to where you need to go rather than drive. But on our way here, we were on I-90. We saw several members of the Connecticut Bomb Squad uh, presumably going to help at the scene. I actually just saw another one right now heading into the city there. We've been on the phone also with several other Connecticut runners in the marathon today. I just got off the phone with one. He's a member of the Glastonbury Runners. He says he finished the race way before the bombs went off, but his son's friend crossed the finish line, and a minute later the bomb went off. She is okay. She's at a Boston hotel right now. We're actually trying to get in touch with her. We've also been in touch with a runner with Team Newtown Strong. There are a number of Newtown runners here in the race. They say 26 miles for the 26 victims of the shooting there. The doctor that we spoke to, we spoke to her office, Dr. Laura Nowaki. She is running with that group. Her daughter survived the school shooting. We're told that she also survived this bombing. She is with her family right now. We've been in touch with people in the area. They're saying they can't get back to their apartments if they live there because police are still investigating in the area. Many of the roads here are blocked off. Uh, we will continue to cover this story, continue to get in touch with more Connecticut runners and other Connecticut residents who were here to watch the race, because as you guys can imagine, there are hundreds of people that come to the Boston Marathon every single year. So we'll be bringing those stories to you later on in the evening. Back to you guys.